dear civil engineers if you are already connected to me and if you are already watching my lectures then you know that i have already discussed about many thing on autodesk robot structural analysis professional software okay and i have created many lecture on it uh, to show you that how will use that software okay now from that lecture i am just going to create or i am just going to start a new project a complete building design by using autodesk robot structural analysis professional 2018 software and who is version you are using it's not fact its work procedure are same so i will use that plan this is real project a structure plan so here you can see that okay also you can see here so here is the plan for it okay and if i just go here so here is your beam column layout and i'll use that to create our model and i will design that model so first of all i'll just go model and i'll click here building design i'll click on that point so when we're here then we have to do something so first of all i'll just come here tools and from here preferences or job preferences so i'll just click here okay and from here we can change our language working language and print out language okay so you can change that as per your requirement so i'm uh, taking that as default and general parameters and here they have many thing actually if you need to change that you can change that as per your requirement and has preamble then print out option okay after completing that click here save for further use you can save it so i'll just cancel that and i'll click accept after that again i'll just go here to change our then uh, job preferences and here i'll do the important thing so they have the option matrix and empirical so if you want to use matrix unit and if you click here yes then it will change to matrix i'll use empirical i always prefer to work in that environment so i'll use that one okay after that if you just go here for materials so actually before starting work you have to customize that so to do that from i mean for which country database you want to work so i want to work as american database and they have many working database okay so here indian also then british so many database are available so I'll use American and here is still and concrete and it will be same if need I'll change that letters and modification so if we if you need to use modification for a still then you can change from here I'll not change anything at this time I'll change that in next if required and here for concrete okay so here characteristic okay have the characteristics 3.5 3.5 ksi i'll just also change that later and here young modulus ksi i'll and here if you want to change so 3.5 ksi i'll consider that and if if you think that your compressive strength of concrete is 3 3 ksi then you can give it 3k 3 ksi okay and here for characteristic for design it's up to you so i'll select characteristic and i'll change that in future when you record and everything is okay then for il aluminium timber we know it aluminium and timber at this time and others okay so when it's done i'll simply click okay and here they have database and the most important thing design code okay so for uh, loads okay for load combination for load combination who is code you want to use so i will use asce 7010 and as per your requirement you can change that so they have other other code and if you need to add any other code just come here select your code from here suppose if you need indian code okay i'll just go here for is code 
I'll go a little bit down. So here, uh, is here the is, and if you need that, simply click here, and it will be selected here. So I'll just move that. At this time, no need. Okay. And when it's done, simply click OK. So I'll cancel because uh, no need to change. And show here for win load. Just see ASC705. Okay. And also, if you need to change that, you can click on more. And from here, you will be able to change as per your requirement. Clear? So I'll just cancel that. And here for seismic load, I'll use more. Okay. So they have many option okay they have many option for seismic so you can use any of it clear so this is for seismic load this is for sonar load or the many sonar wind load so i'll just cancel after that i'll click okay so when this work oh, okay right then you can click here here to define your grid line so how you will create your grid line so first of all to create your grid line in x direction and y direction so for x direction i'll open our autocad and here you can see that this is 14 feet 3 inch so for x direction i need 1 2 3 4 5 6 clear so first of all I need a grid in 00 level and here you can uh, give a numbering so what will be the numbering one two three a v is like that value or you can define that as per requirement so i'll use on to three okay i'll use on to three and after that i'll just uh, click here add this is position zero zero it will start from position 00. After that, what is the next distance from one point to another point? You have to define here. So I'll just go in. I mean, I'll go to our AutoCAD and here 14 feet 3 inch. I'll just define here 14 feet. 14 feet. Sorry. 14 feet and 3 inch then enter sorry 14 feet and 3 inch so if you click here it will not work like that okay so you have to manually calculate double click then here 3 divided by 12 that means 2.5 actually sorry dt clear wall 3 divided by 12 then click here so 0 0.325 uh, like that so I'll just give here what is the distance here actually 14 feet 3 inch 14.25 then click here add and I'll just delete that one Okay, so that one is uh, from 0 to 14, 14 feet, 14.25 feet away. So, what will be the next position? Okay, what will be the next position? So, from here, you have to find out the next position like that. So, from that point to uh, that point like that. So, 23, 23 feet and 10 feet 5 inch. Okay. So I'll just go here. I'll just go here and what is that actually? 23 feet and 10 feet 10 inch. So here 10.5 divided by 12. So that is 0 0.875. So total 23.875 like that then I can click add so this is our 
third point and for fourth point what will be the distance similarly we have to calculate that so like from I can calculate from uh, that point to that point like that so 33 33 feet and 6.5 inch Six point five divided by twelve, then equal to okay. So zero point five four one six, and just give here thirty three. Okay, and after that click add. So when it's done, now again I'll just go here and also with the next point. So in this way, just you have to add all of that point like that from that point to end point. Okay, so I'm just going to do that. So you can see here, I have just completed for all of our grid point for one to six. Now I'll go for Y direction and for our direction first on will be zero zero and I'll consider that will be in ABC like that. So first one is zero zero all over the second position from that point okay so what will be the second one that is 15 feet and 11 inch so again i'll just go here same way same way 11 divided by 12 equal to then click ok sorry uh, click here and here uh, 11 divided by 12 then here then click ok and what is the value actually 15 feet okay so what will be the total value 15.9 15.9 on 66 six like that then click here to add and our last point what will be the last point total point so we can see from here total will be 32 feet and print so here I'll just click here so for 2 it will be 1 point or I'll just take it 32 point double click 2 divided by 12 equal to so click OK and just give it 32 32.166 like that yeah and when it's done click add so this is OK and for Z direction, okay, for Z direction, you can uh, delete, but uh, we, did, we didn't add anything, so I'll don't do anything here. When it's done, okay, when it's done, now simply I'll click apply. I'll just close that on and I'll close here. Just see here, this is our wall grid line. We have created all of our grid line here. You can see here. So after creating our grid line, in our next lecture, I will show that how we will create our uh, story level and how we will start working there. So, thank you. Thank you very much. Still, stay connected till next video. And if you think that if you want to support us or if you want to think that our channel is helpful for you, then you can join as a member or don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update ever first. So, thank you. Thank you very much. Still, stay connected till next video.